Hello my brothers and sisters and welcome back to another action packed episode of Chris the Butcher and Friends. Yeah, I know, it's spag ball. Uh, I love spaghetti bolognese, probably one of my favourite meals of all time is spaghetti bolognese. Mamma mia, Mwah. disclaimer, I'm not saying this is anything near authentic Italian, because it's not, right? But what I am doing is I'm substituting the mince. I'm not having beef mince. I've never done spag ball. I've never done spag ball with corned beef. I've never done spag ball with pork mince. I've never done spag ball with lamb mince. I am using today. I am using some Cumberland sausages. I'm going to de-skin them, put them in a pan, smash them around so it makes like the mince consistency. Uh, my favourite sausage are pork and leek, but I didn't think pork and leek would go in a spag ball. Uh, Cumberland sausages probably won't, but you know, make more of a chance. They're my second favourite sausages. Cumberland sausages are really nice, really tasty. Bit of savoury, a good kick of pepper, good kick of salt in it. So I won't be putting any salt and pepper in this. Uh, so yeah, basically is uh, sausage bolognese. <laughs> quick run through of what I've got and I've got one two three four five another five under there there's ten sausages now they were the most expensive thing of everything I'm using here they were five pound now if you're going to use a kilo of best mince it's going to cost you five pound anyway and there's about a kilo of sausages there garlic garlic some passata some mixed herbs just to give it a little bit of Italian feel uh, plum tomatoes, tomato puree, big bag of spaghetti. Uh, obviously, I'll put some salt in the spaghetti water. And uh, I don't know, it's going to be very tomatoey, so I probably will have to put a teaspoon of sugar in this as well, just to bring down the acidic levels. Otherwise, I'll be up all night with fucking heartburn. And who wants that, eh, when you've had a nice tea? Oh, I love my tea. Pete's going to kill me there. Right, anyway, first job is we're going to skin them sausages. When it comes to skinning sausages, it is really, really easy. Obviously, you want them fresh. Better if they're uh, separated, like them are. Let's get them out of the tray. Incidentally, these sausages come from uh, one of the butchers I work in, uh, and I paid full price for them. So, you know, so I got a good general idea of how much it would cost. All the rest of the ingredients are dirt cheap. But you get your sausage, knife. Doesn't matter if you go through it a bit, does it? Skin, bish bash bosh, done. I'll crack on and we'll start frying this off. I've got my pan on a medium to high heat. Obviously you can see I've de-skinned all the sausages and this is where we all get a lot of garlic for our light in this house. Comes in. Uh, not using any olive oil or anything like that. I don't want it to be too greasy because there's going to be a bit of fat come out of these sausages, hopefully. Because these sausages are, I think, 65% lean to fat, which makes a perfect sausage. So basically what we're going to do is, oh, yeah, we're on. Just start crushing it up. Like you said, we want to make a mincy, mince kind of texture. So we're breaking it up. And the pan is, on, like I said, on medium-high heat. So uh, hopefully we're not going to burn the shit out of it. So uh, I'll bring you back. When that is rocking and rolling. As you can see, brothers and sisters, I've, I have got the consistency that I was looking for. Just don't want it sticking to the bottom of the pan now. I have turned it up, uh, I did turn it up a bit because I didn't like it's a bit below full. But like I said, we just don't want to get that sticking now. So I'm going to turn it down now, back down to medium high. And you know what I'm going to throw in there? I said I weren't, I said I weren't putting salt in it. But I technically aren't putting salt in it. What I am doing is... I'm 
Bit of MSG. Why not? I've got it in the cupboard. Let's use it. I'm going to fly in there with some tomato puree. Just use the last of the tub. Sod it. Fold it. Bish bash bosh. Tomato puree in. Tub empty in the bin. And then we're just going to get this tomato puree stirred in. And we're going to add our passata. And possibly our chopped tomatoes. But yeah, apart from uh, I'm going to add some garlic in there. You mean it's got to have the garlic. I know it's got garlic fry like, but I want to put some uh, garlic granules in there since I've got £30 of it in a tub. And uh, basically that's it. Some mixed herbs. I'm going to put the passata in, I think. Right, I'll be back in two seconds. In you go. Yay, a full little tub. Why not? Feeding the 5,000. Actually, I'm not. I'm feeding me and Lou and Connor. That's why there's no onions going in this. Normally, I'd put some onions in this, but I... Connor has told me he doesn't like onions, so I can't put onions in it, so that's me knackered. Otherwise, he won't eat it, and then it would be a waste of food, wouldn't it? That's looking well, that. Smells good. The smell of the Cumberland sausages coming right through really, really well. Uh, bring that up to a bit of a simmer, and then we're going to add our chopped tomatoes. It might be a bit, uh, might be a bit liquidy, but I'm going to let it run and let it cook, and that sausage meat will cook right through. And uh, let it reduce a little bit before I add uh, the garlic and uh, the mixed herbs. And basically, that will be it. We're going to add our sundries now, and that is including a teaspoon of sugar, which I'll, which it will need with all these tomatoes going in. Now Lou did the shop, I did shopping with Lou yesterday and she bought what I thought were chopped tomatoes, the plum tomatoes. So I'm going out at some point, yeah let's get some water in that, let's get a bit of water in that, give it a swirl around, bish bash bosh, uh, probably I'm going to have to chop them up as well in the pan. In fact let's give it a bit of a stir now, a bit of a chop. They will break down anyway, but they are, they're good, but they're, they've got, they're acidic. That's why the sugar is in there as well. So we'll let them cook away in there. I'm going to add our mixed herbs. Probably about a, a teaspoon again. And our garlic granules. Ooh. Uh, probably about a teaspoon again. We don't want our uh, a tablespoon. Depends how much you like garlic really, doesn't it? So we'll give that a good mix of mitosis. Like I said, I'll turn this down now to a medium heat because I just don't want this to boil. I don't want it to stick. I just want it to simmer. And that is what that is going to do now for about 30 minutes. Let's not overdo it. You know what I mean? 30 minutes, everything will be cooked through. All the ingredients have got to know each other. Plum tomatoes have already started falling apart. So this should be absolutely banging. It smells good, right? I wish we had smelly vision here on YouTube, but we haven't. But that does smell good. So uh, I'll clean up my workstation, sort out my pasta, and uh, I'll be back with you. Our mix is ready. Our sausage bolognese is done. It doesn't need any salt. It doesn't need any... Do you know what? It does need a cracker pepper. So we'll put a cracker pepper in it. Not too much because Connor doesn't like pepper either. Is there anything he does like? I'm going to turn it off at the hob as well. So uh, get that mixed in. It smells good. You can smell that pepper. I hope it cooks out a little bit. As you can hear over there, our uh, spaghetti is in. Our salty water. That's going to take about 11 minutes. I'm going to let that keep cooking in there now. I've turned it off, but it's going to keep cooking in its residual heat in the pan and the heat from the hob. Because it's an electric hob, it doesn't cool down right away like a gas oven. So yeah, uh, next time you see it, it'll be on the plate. Yeah.
And you know what? We're not finished yet. There it is, brothers and sisters. The finished article sausage bolognese. Sausage spaghetti bolognese, should I say, because it's spaghetti. But we're here for this. Uh, we all know what spaghetti tastes like. We all know what cheese tastes like. Cheese is the food of the gods. The only thing that makes cheese better is when it's gluing bacon together. But anyway, it's gluing this together. Let's get this sausage bolognese down, my gizzard. Don't get me wrong, right? I have been tasting this as I've got as I've been cooking it, so I know I knew exactly what it would taste like. It's different. It's like you're eating spaghetti bolognese, but it tastes a sausage, which for me is an absolute winner, winner sausage bolognese dinner. Bon appetit. What brothers and sisters? That was absolutely banging. If you don't like sausages or Cumberland sausages, I suggest you don't try it because you're not going to like it. Because the Cumberland sausage, I've got a little bit. I know I added black pepper to it. I even know there's black pepper in your Cumberland sausage, but it needed it. Definitely needed that garlic. Definitely needed that uh, sugar. Otherwise, that'd have been really, really acidic because there was a lot of tomato in there. There was tomato puree, tomato passata, and. Uh, a, a tin of uh, plum tomatoes. Uh, so yeah, you needed a bit of summer to bring down the pH levels. But that, with a cheese, absolutely banging. I've got another plate of spaghetti there that I'll, I'll be doing. And that'll go with that. So that's another plate. That's two plates. And that is massive. I've got a Kieran one, uh, Connor one, a bowl, plenty there. Lou's got one. <laughs> And Kieran, being Kieran, he's just got spaghetti and I've mixed a load of grated cheese in there. So he's got cheesy pasta, cheesy spaghetti. So basically, yeah, five for the sausages, uh, a quid for the spaghetti, six quid. One, two, three, four, five. It's cost about £1.35 each, so uh, you can't complain at that. And you had some proper butchered sausages. And also, I liked it. If you like this, press like. Comment, share it on your social media, and subscribe. I'll become a family member of hashtag Team CT. But the nipples are coming through that. It's not even cold. TB, where I fucking love you. Kieran's having a meltdown.